Hello everyone, and in this video we are going to be walking through how you can use the bulk API method of Elasticsearch in order to ingest or index many documents into your Elasticsearch cluster much more effectively than you could have if you only did them individually. So uh, what we have here is a data set of some sample JSON payloads and they're delimited by new line characters. So basically um, each line here is a separate document inside of our Elasticsearch index. It's a standalone file. It exists in our project directory where we have our Python script. And then we actually have our Python script right here. And what's going on is that we are basically taking in this data from this JSON file that's delimited with all those new line characters. And we are converting each one of those uh, lines into a separate dictionary that will be appended into a doc list. And then as we are enumerating over this list of dictionaries, we are going to be serializing it into JSON and then appending some timestamps and ID if you would like. This is just a thing that you, uh, these are both optional. Elasticsearch would assign a ID to every single document that, is, that it ingests by default. Um, and then finally what we're doing here is the following where we're actually going to be invoking the helpers method of the Elasticsearch Python library and calling the bulk class in order to uh, get this large payload into Elasticsearch in a single API call. And because we're using that single API call, this is going to take a lot less time than if we were using a traditional method of creating an Elasticsearch index and then shipping each individual document uh, individually. So um, that is the key thing that's going on here. I will provide a link to the GitHub repo. Uh, this, I want to give a mention, came from objectrocket.com. And so I'll paste a link to this uh, here as well so you guys can reference that too if you would like and uh, yeah so once we run this code I have a breakpoint right here so I will just run this in uh, PyCharm and we should see this thing uh, come up another thing I want to make note of is when you are running this uh, bulk API Elasticsearch has different methods they've got index create update and delete create is an action that if a document already exists with that ID, it will throw an error. So you are better off using index verbs or actions for every single one of your actions. If you're only uh, creating or updating records, just use index. Don't even use either or, just stick to index. It's much more safe in the long run. Um, and so this thing just completed successfully. If we now go into our Elasticsearch cluster, I can see that it's created this index for me already. This index exists. And then if I wanted to see whichever records were inside of this index, um, I have all caps on, <laughs> we can do that. And we run this and we can see that all of the five uh, JSON payloads here were successfully shipped into our Elasticsearch index in just one API call. And so obviously we can scale this up to like thousands of uh, individual JSON payloads in a single API call, and this would help save you a lot of time when you're doing this stuff. So uh, thank you all for watching. I just want to make another note here that this is pretty agnostic of platform because you're going down to the API level. So um, Elasticsearch does provide some documentation. Um, I'm using Python, and uh, we're able to make this successful API call using the bulk method. So hope this helps. Thank you all for watching, and take care.